you have to be on the same network, but you don't have to have internet connection. And what I found is that just to show you, I have a little router here. Got a little router. This little thing here. Um, it's not going to have any internet, little power bank. So I'm going to connect these this, to this. So now it gives this some power. So if you're out in the field or whatnot, you have your little something like this. It really wouldn't be that hard. It doesn't need a power bank because you're probably in your car and you can just plug it into your Android charger, regular USB charger, and be, be good to go. Yeah. Okay. So that's down there. My little thing now. Um, up top, that's the Phantom 3 Advanced. And this is the controller with a Galaxy S2 Note tablet or whatever it is. Um, Galaxy S2 tablet. And what I found that is with using an Android to stream to an iOS device, there is very, very little latency. Now, Android to Android, there's a lot of latency. I mean, it's it makes you not even want to use it. But I'm going to show you how this, this plays out here. Okay. Now, since that's on, I'm going to use this I, this I device here. And I'm going to connect to... I connect to connect to this this my little wireless hotspot that I have here, and I named it Drone Wi-Fi. Okay, so now that that's on that, now I'm gonna open up the Mirror Op app, and it's sitting there at that screen. Now. On here, I'm going to do the same thing so those, those two can be connected to the same network. So, I'm going to open up my wireless settings. And I'm going to connect to the drone Wi-Fi that I created earlier. And now, so whenever you open it up, it's going to be searching for a receiver. That's what that says. Searching for a receiver. Okay. So since we're all on that same network with no internet, it found my iPad. iPad Air 2 is what I'm using. Now I'm going to hit play. And now everything on my iPad, everything on this Galaxy here, is now being mirrored over there to that iPad. So now if I wanted to do this, Say this cord is going to my controller. There's nothing in there. But now I want to turn on my remote. Okay. Now I'm going to go turn on, say, the Phantom 3. And yeah, I know I got the propellers on. But it'll be alright. I just got finished testing this outside flying. So that's why they're on. I'm bringing it to you to share now. Okay. Now, mind you. Um. It's booted up. I'm going to plug this back in. Plug that back in. You know, of course, you see on both screens, it's asking me the same thing. On both screens, it's asking me the same thing. You know. On both screens, I don't know if you can see, but what it's asking me is, you know, if you have an Android device. So I'm going to just hit the DJI Go app. Okay, now, as you can see, it's kind of dark in here, but as you can see, there goes the screen on here on this iPad. And I'll turn this, the brightness up some. 
Okay. Now, if I grab this and then just give it a spin, as you see, it spins right along with it. Yeah. Spins right along with it. So this comes in handy when you're out in the field and you have say another person to see that right another person that wants to have a monitor say you want to fly with your phone for an Android and the receiver is for both platforms but I found like I said that the Android sending to a newer iOS device with pretty much no latency. Now I'm going to turn my TV on so you can kind of see. Okay. Now as you can see, they're pretty much moving at the same time. You see? Move that up the way. They're pretty much moving at the same time. I think that's come in handy guys um, check it out I'm just sharing 